My name is Edebro Bermudia from the Department of Physiology, University of Medical Science. I'm here to put us through how to check arterial blood pressure. The first one is putting us through using the digital sphigo manometer. The digital sphigo manometer is very, very, very portable. It's simple. It will check the systolic blood pressure, the diastolic blood pressure, and at the same time, it will only check the pulse rate. Listen it. On the subjects, arm, and you ask the subjects to stay calm. No agitation, just stay calm. It will not hurt you, it will not pain you. Then the next thing, the digital sugar manometer has start and stop button. You click on the start button. So once you click on the start button, it will start reading. It's reading already. It's 110 over 75. And it's within normal. Because the normal arterial blood pressure is 120 over 80 millimeter per mercury. Thank you. The table type Sigo manometer. It is used alongside the stethoscope. The stethoscope has the earpiece, which is this, and it has the diaphragm and equally has the bear. So we are going to place the bear of the diaphragm on the pubital fossa because that is where the broken artery is located. And you place the earpiece on your ear so that you can feel the pulse of the subject. Before we do that, we need to tie the cups of the table type manual sugar manometer this is the cuff of the sugar manometer on the arm very simple you must make sure it's fan so once that is done then the next thing you lock it and you put on the mercury. This is off button and this is on button. Once you put it on, then you start inflating. So once you start inflating, you have to put on your stethoscope and the bear of the stethoscope on the cubital fossa. And you continue to inflate. You continue to inflate until you no longer hear pulse from the subject. So the pulse has disappeared. Then thereafter, I will add just 20 to 8. Don't take the mercury to 30. Then I will start deflating. I will start deflating. Little by little. So the first sound that you will hear using the stethoscope alongside with the sugar manometer, it is called the Korakov sound. Now I can feel the sound that is the systolic blood pressure. Then you continue the lump dump, lump dump, lump. The lump sound is the systolic blood pressure. You continue. Then when the sun disappears, you take note of it. It disappeared at this calibration, which was 70. 
you equally take note of it. That becomes the diastolic blood pressure. So, from my subject, the value of his arterial blood pressure was 110 over 70. That means his arterial blood pressure is within normal. But when arterial blood pressure is higher, greater than 130 systolic blood pressure, when it's 140, it is called systolic blood pressure. When systolic blood pressure is lesser than 90, it is called systolic hypotension. So, but when an individual present in a laboratory, the individual was not having any blood pressure initially, merely seeing a nurse or a physician, the blood pressure of that individual scarocated, the systolic blood pressure scarocated to like 150 over 80, which is diastolic normal, that become a white coat hypertension. With time, it will calm down. So that is it. It is very simple. Using the trigo manometer alongside the stethoscope. So you can easily check arterial blood pressure. Thank you.